What are you doing if you're not using ChatGPT to write a scraper in Python? So today I'm going to write a scraper for Google search results using Python. So write this down in ChatGPT, scraper in Python using Selenium and beautiful soap. For Google search results using QD URL. This is the code that we got from the chat GPT and now we are just going to copy it and use it in our Python code editor. And as you can see, I have installed the Selenium. So let's install the Selenium using pip install Selenium. When that's done, install BS4. So use pip install BS4. Now let's run the Python code and see what we get from this. There you go. It opened the browser and ran the Kiwi, but we still have an issue here. So there's a raw, something wrong at the line 34. So I'm just going to remove it for now or we can come back to it later. Let's run the code again and see what the response is this time. So we have a success and we just got titles and URLs of all the results in the browser. Let's go one step further and ask the ChatGPT to give us the results for ChatGPT, QD and also give us the results for titles and metadata in the object form using dictionaries in Python. We should also ask it to fix the error that we got earlier. Let's copy both of the code and paste in this fix for this table as well. We still have an issue, so let's ask ChatGPT to fix this as well. Let's run the code again and check. And there you go. We have a solid response. This is in dictionary format and this is exactly what we wanted. Let's go even further and ask it to add all these dictionary items to a CSV file. Let's ask it to give us the complete code. Alright, it's done. So let's copy it and paste it into our code editor. Now 
Now we'll run it and see if it generates a correct CSV for this. It gave almost a correct output, but as you can see, there are some special characters here shown as unidentified question marks in the output. So let's ask ChatGPT to fix this. Let's copy and paste that code over here. So we are just adding a new encoding, which is UTF-8, and that will resolve our issue. I'm going to run it and see the output this time. And there you have it. Our issue is fixed, and we have the correct CSV representation of our discovery. And that was all you guys. Please comment down below what other program that you want me to make using ChatGPT. And let me know what you guys made using ChatGPT. And I'll see you guys next time. So bye bye. See ya. Take care.